So hi, uh, my name is Rex Childs. I'm the Volunteer Experience Manager here at uh, Grace Place for Children and Families. Grace Place started uh, about 12 years ago uh, here on uh, this, what used to be a United Methodist Church campus. Our uh, founding director, uh, Stephanie Campbell, started Grace Place uh, because she saw the need here in this community uh, for the, the children here who uh, needed a little bit of extra help, and so it actually started out as a homework club. So we have a lot of activities and programs going on here at Grace Place. Uh, one of the things that really separates Grace Place from other uh, nonprofit organizations in the area uh, is that we work with the whole family. Uh, so we have programs all the way from birth uh, up, in, up to adults as well. So we have uh, our Bright Beginnings program, uh, which works with parents, uh, and it also has an early childhood education uh, aspect to it as well. Uh, we have school age programs, so we have after school programs for elementary, middle, and high school. And then we also have adult education programs, uh, where we offer uh, English language classes, uh, financial literacy classes. Uh, we also offer a citizenship class as well. Uh, and then finally we have our Friday food pantry where we distribute food uh, 50 out of 52 Fridays uh, every single year. So right now, uh, Grace Place is looking for some volunteers in our Bright Beginnings Early Childhood Education Program. We also are looking for uh, English language learner teachers. Uh, so anyone who's had experience teaching English to uh, adults or who might be interested in teaching English uh, to adults, uh, we're looking for some volunteers with that as well. Our food pantry day is a very busy day here at Grace Place. Uh, we start off uh, usually around 9 a.m. Uh, and we're packing uh, dry goods that we have here on campus that have been donated. Uh, around 10 a.m. we receive uh, our shipment uh, from the Harry Chapin Food Bank. Uh, and we are the largest distribution center for the Harry Chapin Food Bank in Collier County. Uh, so we receive that food and then we uh, have volunteers who have to um, sort all of the different food into uh, different categories, so fruits, vegetables, uh, meat, dairy, uh, all different kinds of stuff, and um, we sort that out and get that ready for our clients to come through. And then when our clients come through, usually around 1 o'clock, uh, 1.30, uh, our clients come through and it's, it's a bit like grocery shopping. They get to choose uh, a certain number uh, of, pro of products from uh, the different categories. Um, and then uh, they go through and we help them take their stuff out to their car or uh, onto their cart when they walk home and, uh, and then we're pretty much done by five, six o'clock. Looking into the future, uh, Grace Place really uh, wants to be a touchstone for uh, every person in this uh, community, in the Golden Gate community. Uh, there are quite a few people who are in need here. And so, um, you know, a lot of people give back um, to show uh, to show their faith, to put their faith into action. Uh, and that's part of our mission statement is uh, here at Grace Place, we put our faith into action, uh, providing pathways out of poverty by educating children and families.